In this video, do you want to learn how to make $3,000 an hour? Well, too bad. This video is about trigger links, way more interesting. Most people use links inside of high level the same way that they use links everywhere else, just to send somebody to a page. But what if I told you that every single link that you send out can fire a whole bunch of actions inside of your account automatically? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use something called trigger links inside of high level. I'm gonna walk you through how they work, how to set it up, and some really cool examples that you can build inside your account today. Okay, let's start with the basics. What is a trigger link? A trigger link inside of high level is just a normal link, but on steroids and not illegal. When someone clicks it, it doesn't just take them to a page, but it can also trigger an entire automation behind the scenes. So imagine somebody clicks a link inside of your SMS or your email, and boom, High Level can automatically send them a follow-up message, update their pipeline stage, add or remove tags, and even notify a team member. And all of this was done by clicking a link, not doing each thing manually. Best part is that you can use trigger links anywhere inside the system, in your emails, in your SMS, or funnels, and even websites. They are one of the most powerful tools and probably the most underused tool inside of High Level. And once you start using the trigger links, you will never go back to the plain, boring, unseasoned links again. All right, let's set up one together to show you how easy it actually is. So you're gonna come into your high-level sub account, come all the way down to marketing on the left-hand side, then come up to the top center where it says trigger links. And click on links. To add a trigger link, all you're gonna do is click on add link in the top right. And I recommend giving it a proper name that is related to the action that you're trying to do. For example, if you're doing a campaign to send a PDF and maybe title it send PDF campaign. And you want to add a link URL. The link you'll add in here is the link that you want to take the person to or the destination place. For my example, if I'm sending them a free PDF, obviously I want them to sign up in a form to get the information to send them the PDF. So I would add the link to the form, which is probably on a website, into this box over here. And then once I do that, I click on save and you'll see a trigger link created like these examples over here. On the right hand side is the actual trigger link key. So if you wanted to do an automation with this, you would just copy this or just go to the automation tab and then search for the trigger link action. But more on that later. So let's say I just created this trigger link over here. Now I want to connect it to a workflow so that it can actually do something. So all I'm going to do is come over to automation on the left hand side, create a workflow. I'm going to start from scratch and then you can make the new trigger a trigger link. So click on it, type in trigger link and then say trigger link clicked. What we're saying is that when somebody clicks that link, this automation is going to fire. So I'm just going to select the link that I created and adjust the filter to say trigger link is the downloaded PDF example. And then I'm going to click on save trigger. So now here's where the magic happens. You can add or stack as many actions as you want underneath this workflow based off of the trigger link that has been clicked. So let's say I want to send them an SMS, an email, and maybe contact the internal team to follow up with them. I can do all that in real time as soon as they click on that link. I just have to add the action by clicking the plus. I'm going to say SMS and then say send SMS, then type your message save it and then move on to the next action that you want. Maybe for this example is to contact the team. So I'm going to type in internal notification, select the notification type, maybe an SMS, and maybe say, hey, contact name has downloaded the PDF. It'd be good to give them a call. And just above the message, you can assign the user and then click on save action. This is how you make your automations feel intelligent and smart when in actual fact, somebody just clicked a link. All right, let's get into some really cool real world examples that you can build straight into your account. The first example is pretend that you're a clinic and after an appointment, instead of logging into the system, and updating the customer's record to say if they showed or didn't show or if treatment started. Instead of doing that for every single client, imagine you just received an email that had a couple of buttons straight after that customer has come in for their consultation. So as soon as their time ended, you receive a notification on your phone that has three buttons where you can click if the patient showed, if the patient did not show, and if they started treatment. On the front end, it's that simple, but in the back end, it can automatically change the status of that patient instead of you or your team having to manually go and drag the cards one by one inside of the pipeline. Line. Okay, let me show you how it works. So the first thing we need to do is create an automation that says once a consultation has finished, send this email to the doctor. So I'm going to come over to automation, create a new workflow. So we want the trigger to be a calendar booking so that we can say once somebody does book into this calendar, this automation will fire. So I'm going to type in here customer booked appointment in this calendar. Click on save. And then I'm going to add a wait step. And I'm going to say wait for the event or the appointment time. And it's going to wait until after the appointment. And let's say after two minutes and then click save. Now we want to send that email. So I'm going to click on the plus action, type an email and then click on send email. So I've already created a template, which I'm going to show you what it looks like now. I'm going to say select template and I'm going to click on my show no show report email. Just to show you what that looks like, I'm going to click on edit. This is a very basic email template that a dentist or doctor or whoever will receive after the appointment. So they will just get a notification on their phone that will say high location 
consultation name. How did the consultation go with the contact on the appointment start time? And they can just click three buttons, which is treatment start is still pending, started treatment and no showed. But what's super cool about this is that these buttons are not just buttons, they have trigger links behind them. So if I click on one, you'll see on the left hand side here, the link URL is where we paste the trigger link key. If you remember from earlier, those trigger link examples that I created, that's where I would paste it over here. To find them, you can also click on this button over here, scroll down to trigger links, and then select the trigger link that you want to add to this button. So in this case, I created one which is treatment start is pending. So I'll click on the pending treatment. The same thing goes with these other two over here. I'm gonna click on save again, and then close this box, and you'll see that this email has now been added after I click save action. And just to show you where I got those trigger links from, if I go back, come down to marketing, up to trigger links, you'll see the three that I created, all those three buttons. So you need one for each individual button. For example, if I click on edit here, I just titled it no show, and then this link URL, I've attached it to a funnel thank you page. So what this means is that when somebody clicks on the page, it's gonna take them to the specific funnel page, which I'll show you what it looks like right now. So in sites, in funnels, I created a simple three-step funnel where each page relates to each individual button. For example, the response recorded is no show, started and pending. This is what it looks like after they click the button, it will just say, thank you, the results have been updated. Again, this is obviously the person who's in charge of the calendar or the doctor or dentist or whoever's receiving this email. After they click that button, they will receive this. And to get the link for each individual funnel step, all you'll do is come to publishing, name the step properly, and make sure the step URL, also known as the slug, is the same one that you're gonna put inside the trigger link. In this case, this one says response recorded no show. So that trigger link needs to have this slug after the actual URL. And to get the URL, just go to settings here and then attach a URL to this funnel. So if I have ben.com, then this funnel step will be ben.com slash response recorded no show. And the same goes for these other two steps over here. And I will take that link and then put it inside the correct link URL. So for the no show, I'll just paste full link which in this case will be n.com slash response recorded no show and click save. Okay, so now that we've created a trigger link, we created an email that has three buttons that somebody can click on instead of logging into the system. And we created a thank you page where each page relates to each individual button. From there, what we wanna do is automatically update the status of the patient. So again, instead of the employee coming in and manually changing the contact card to the next stage, this is done automatically by the person who clicked the button. So in order to do that, again, we've gotta create another automation. We come over to automation, then in my example, I created three individual workflows. Again, one for each button. For example, for the no-show one, if I hop in here, I'm gonna select the trigger to be the no-show trigger. Just to show you what I'll do if this wasn't here, I'll click on add new trigger, type in trigger, type in trigger link clicked, and then select the trigger link. The trigger link is the no-show one. And click on save trigger. Once you do that, it will appear like this and will now fire the automation after that specific button has been clicked. So let's say it has been clicked now. What we wanna do first of all is update the opportunity and put that contact in the the correct stage inside the pipeline. So I added an action over here just to show you what it looks like if this was not here. All you have to do is click on the plus, type in opportunity and click on create slash update opportunity. And you're going to select the pipeline, select the stage that you want this lead to be updated to. In this case, I'm going to add it to no show and then click on save. Then once you click on save, it will appear like this. And let's say the next action is we want to update the appointment status. Say that this contact did not show up to the appointment. So I'm going to click on the action and say update appointment status and select it to be no show. And it might be good to add a tag to mark this customer as a no-show. And let's say the final thing we want to do after that button has been clicked and after we've automatically moved that customer to the correct column inside the pipeline is to send them an SMS to maybe rebook an appointment. So that's what I did with this final step over here, which is to send a text. I'll just delete it to show you again how I did it. All I did is click the plus action, type an SMS, say send SMS, type your message, and then click on save. And then make sure you click on publish and save in the top right corner and make it go live. And the same principle goes for the other two automations related to the those other two buttons, such as the started treatment. Once the started treatment button has been clicked, this automation will fire because of the trigger link, which will automatically update the opportunity, update the appointment status, add a tag to say that the treatment has started, and then remove them from any other workflows just to make sure that they don't receive a message that is unneeded. That was a really cool example where somebody doesn't even have to log into the system to update any contact records. Rather, they click a button, it will update the record, as well as send them a message if need be. This video may have not been how to make $3,000 an hour, Hour, but it did cover the next best thing trigger links. Just to recap, trigger links are super links that can help you start different actions or automations without having people step in manually and do those actions by themselves. If you currently have a brain, then the opportunity is really endless with what you can do with trigger links. I hope this video helped and if you want to see Keaton selling software door to door and getting a 2k per month client in real time, then make sure you check out this video. Thanks for watching.